focus, a bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. The first reading refers to the Messiah and indicates what he would be like. The Messiah will be different from other leaders. He will not lift up his voice or make it heard. He will come so gently that he passes through the marshes. Even a bruised reed will not be broken and even a flickering lamp will not be blown out by the movement. No fanfare. But the bruised reed can also be a symbol of someone weak in grace. So a bruised reed can refer to us, wayward and uncertain. Christ will lift us up and make us whole again. He will give us enough opportunities to straighten our path and return to Him. If our faith is flickering like a lamp about to be extinguished, He will not let it waver to the point that it will go out. He will extend a helping hand. Of course, we need to call out to Jesus in this and similar circumstances. And when He heals us, we can be like Martha's sister, Mary, and show our gratitude to and love for Jesus in a special way. Fruit, am I a bruised reed? The Lord reassures me of his help. And when I am helped, can I show my gratitude by assisting other bruised reeds and flickering wicks?